my my game plan was to box him, not brawl. Mm -hmm. But when I got in the ring, I fucking Froze. everything that I learned, <laughs> I it went out the window. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. We got yeah. we got to talk about your fight too. Man, that's what I was about to ask <laughs> you. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Your fight, you know. But I, I really look, to be honest with you, I was listen. Look. I gotta say this. I was not we really. We watched part of it. We watched it. it. No, I watched yeah. it. Dude, I was gonna watch show. I ain't yeah. giving about none of the other. I yeah. didn't watch nothing else. Look. I was shocked because you, you was in look good. after Charleston. Uh, 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 you know, didn't do nothing. You know, far as being, yeah. you became the headliner to me. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and that was the best thing. I look. Win, lose, or draw, or loss. But that was the best thing I did all year. Yeah, it was. It was something I I, I chalked off my bucket list. Bro, I called Big D. I said, man, that how's he emotionally? You know, me and him talking. Yeah. But how's this nigga emotionally? He was like, man, he good, man. For losing. He said, but uh, he just feel like he should. I'm. Yeah. We talk like this, nigga. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. he just feel like we. He shouldn't have wore the boots, man, like, bro. And look, me and him talking the same <laughs> thing when y'all fought because he was up yeah, there. Yeah, Like he came, you gotta understand. Came, that's my look, dude, he bro. He came to Arizona to watch that fight, bro. He was there. Him Phase on life. Love was there too. Yeah, he was my there. boy. I'm, I'm telling you. Look, that fight. It really that shit really helped me out. Like, look, I was so scared. <laughs> <laughs> you like I gotta get out of there. I didn't think you were a no. fighter at all. No, 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 I wasn't. Like that's why I'm saying like. I really stepped out of my comfort zone. That's this good. the nigga that I fought Wood winning. I know mm -hmm. we we did we interviewed, we interviewed him. He him before. was he was in the fucking feds for nine years. I know. So look, <laughs> my my game plan was to box him, not brawl. Mm -hmm. But when I got in the ring, I fucking Froze. everything that I learned, Froze. <laughs> I it went out the window. Because he rushed me like a fucking street fighter. Mm. I'm not a street fighter. Yeah. He's like a real lie. He been in the feds. You practiced the box. Yeah. Like Pure I was box. trying to box him. But when 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 he rushed me, like the he said that's what Floyd told him to do, because I right. got reach. I just everything that I learned from footwork to everything. That's why I was telling Big D, stop making excuses for me, bro. He yeah. won. Yeah. But everything that I learned went out the went out the window. You gotta understand. You got people screaming. You got you thinking about who's watching on pay per view. You thinking about you thinking about all that when you in the what? ring. You're thinking about everything. You're thinking about his power. Does he have power? Is he gonna? I couldn't. I, he even told. He even did in his interview. He said he couldn't sleep the night before. Mm -hmm. I couldn't sleep the week of. <laughs> I, they made me lose ten pounds. Because he's like 170, I was like 195, so I had to meet him halfway. They made me lose 10 pounds, so I was drained. 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 Like, I've never lost 10 pounds in three days. Have y'all? No. Mm -hmm. 10 pounds is a lot. Well, what did you do? Wearing, not eating certain foods. I had to run every day. I had to wear a fucking sweat. Uh, the sweat bag, yeah. Everything. So it was like, and the dude uh, will winning, like, he's fearless. Oh yeah, he didn't want to lose to a blogger. No, so he wanted it more than me. Yeah. I'm in there just trying to survive. He's in there trying to put me the fuck away. So, look, I'm not embarrassed about it. I did call Big D the next day. I said, I Dent. told you. I said, I said, Big D, is my career over? He That's said, what he told me. <laughs> he told me everything, bro. I'm he keeping like, it real with like, you. Yeah, he was like, I said, bro. Nah. I said, bro, is my career over? Bro, he, he said, told nah. me. He said, nah, bro, you're not a fucking boxer. I promise. He said, he told no. Me. He said. He said nobody at your level, academics, Adam Vlad would never, never do, do that. that. No, right. he said, nigga, wear that shit. I said, bet. Yeah, he he told me he was like, man, because I, I asked him, that was, I was like, man, he ain't, how is the emotion? You know, because I know man, you don't I'm, know what people I'm gonna think because you basically you your name your your name whole weight yeah. your, your brand is is, look, is solidified. I want to do that shit like I want to do it again. Ask, you want to go again? Yeah, yeah, like, you can't lose the next one. I can't one, lose no. the next one. I can't lose. Do the you want to go up against him again? No, I want to do. Would else? you do a rematch? Yeah, I do a rematch, but I want to do a fight somebody in fights. between. Okay. Yeah, I want to do a few tuna fights. So but it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Like it was fun. Like Sauce Walker's my my boy. So like we afterward, it was cool. It, it, it didn't pin out the way I wanted it to, but it was like, all right, bet. Like, I'm, I fought in front of thousands of people. Like, I don't know. That shit was fun, bro. I'll do that shit again. Did I'm a, I'm a you, daredevil. Bro, did you it make had, you have, like, a new respect for boxers? Yes. You know how you be watching the fight? You be like, man, why he ain't do that? <laughs> it's like, now you understand, like, you don't want to, like, so. like, you don't want to come off. 
you don't want to first round. You don't want to go too crazy because you don't want to you don't want to tire yourself out. So it's kind of like you gotta. It's a real like boxing is really a science. It's really a science. Keeping the jab out. You gotta make like I'm telling you when I got in the ring. All of that shit went out the window because you're thinking about your girls there. You don't want to get embarrassed. Your dad's there. You, your haters, your supporters. You but wanna, this is your first time. Yeah, so. you don't want to let down your supporters. Pay per view. You don't know who's watching. People are having watch parties in Houston. You don't know his power. Like it's, it was. It was crazy. So that every, for everybody saying that, I don't. Ha, I, I don't take anybody's opinion unless you've been in the ring before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it's so easier said than done. Mm-hmm. It's so easier said. It's so many woulda, coulda, shoulda's. I'm telling you, it's a different world. I think. I think next time you'll have the right trainer. You'll have the right prep work. I think you know what you're going into. Yeah. That walk to that ring. I seen his face like he was ready to go. He was moving faster than what I would expect. He was moving like boom, 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 going. I was just ready to get out the <laughs> way. Like whatever it's gonna be, it's gonna be. But. I don't know. I just, I just. Now you got to learn. Now you have to learn how to meditate and be more focused. When you get in there, yeah. block everything Man, out. I'm telling and just you. concentrate on the fight. Yes, yes. Who yes. is the person that you would love to fight next? Uh, Who you want to call out? Maybe Bosco, because he backed out on me. Yeah, he did. So back, but like, he's a little bigger, though. He he's, looks gained weight. Or he looks no, I'm talking about he's a little bigger than he's Sasha bigger than dude. So. He's right. bigger than dude, but I don't think he got the heart that Wood got. Oh, okay. Wood yeah, got heart. Yeah. 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 Like, I didn't lose to no scrub. I lost to a nigga who, you got to understand, I had, that that week up leading to the fight, I had so many Houston D-boys and hood niggas talking about the stories of him fighting. And so he not no, she not no scrub. And you were reading all of that. I'm before. reading all that. Like, you know, that's fuck? getting into your mind that's and messing I'm up saying, your mental space. Like, I was just like, what the fuck? I know but, somebody who said they want to fight you. Who? Who? Money Moses said he wants oh, to jump in there. Oh, he wanted to get in there with you. Money Moses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, after that, yeah. so he wants to get with you. <laughs> Money Moses, man, he back there. Yeah. We can do it, man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm talking about oh, podcast against uh, uh, interview. What you? What's your po- angry? That'll be a great Angry host. uncles. You would put angry uncles against Boss Talk 101. We can't <laughs> lose that shit, man. I bet he better not lose. Just <laughs> This is entertaining, man. But yeah, I, like I said, man, that that um that was like my highlight, the highlight of my year, man. When you did a great wrong. job, man. I don't think tell you me did. I did a great no, job. No, no, you did. No, Cause just me. to go out there, bro. Time. Yeah. Just to go do it. Yeah. Like ain't no who ain't nobody else blogging ever did it like yeah. that. I see. Nah, that except they scared. They, they, you don't see people go into that ring and be like, I'm gonna go in there and fight a rapper. Yeah. That ain't nothing normal. So I'm uh-huh. proud that you would even do it. Ain't yeah. nobody. But you open in the doors for other people who might be thinking about it. For real, man. Go do that shit. That's just my that's just my testimony to everybody. Like, find a hobby, like, outside of shit that you do. And right. Just find a hobby because when you find a hobby, like, going fishing, like, that's my new thing, like, going fishing. You like fishing? Yes, because I think of ideas. When I'm going fishing, I think of ideas towards, say, cheese. Mm-hmm. Like, when you just find a hobby and it has nothing to do with making money, your mind, your mind just floored. Like, you just think of the, the unimaginable. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So... That was just one of my hobbies I had for the summer. It's just like, I, I didn't plan on going pro or, you know, whatever. It was just getting away from Say Cheese and just, you know, I got staying busy. Say- I- yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.